Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and our look of the Irish campaign. And this is episode 12, I believe. Now, this is a new recording session, so true to form, I can't remember what it was I was actually doing. Although, I know that in the last episode we took... Okay, so what do we want to do here? Because we've got, um, how many loans have we got? Only one, and it's not a huge deal. When's it actually due? 42. So I'm more than happy to probably give money in exchange for loyalty, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, last episode we, uh, we managed to get the Faroe Islands, Shetland Islands, and Orkney from Norway. So now we are, um, basically just focusing on coring said areas. Um, while also, uh... Yeah, coring said areas while um, also stopping rebels from uh, from spawning, which I don't think they will for quite a long. Well, actually, no, three point six years. New, yeah, tax new Tyrone. Um, so three point six years. So I think where's my army? I probably want to put my army on Orkney because what that'll do is it'll stop. Uh, wow, well, it'll slow down the rate at which. Uh, I, this increases, yeah, there we go, halves uh, the unrest for Orkney. Um, so yeah, now we're coring all the relevant places, so it'll take, it will take a while um, before this, these are all done. Um, but there's not really much we could do but wait at this point. We're discovering a lot of places. Um, let's pop our transport fleet back. We can mothball them. And what we will do, I think... Okay, so we're out of naval force limit, more or less. So, what I was going to say is we could well um, increase... Oh, sorry, what am I about? No, we could well make another exploration fleet and explore some stuff for ourselves. But as it doesn't actually seem to make a difference now, it doesn't give you any prestige or anything like that, I really don't see the point. Because we're going to discover these things anyway in our own time. So, what I'm going to do now is once these uh, loans have been paid off, I'm going to um, start colonizing again. Because we're making a not insignificant amount of money. How much are we actually making from our, uh, our subjects? So we're making 0.68 from uh, New Tyrone. Um, so yeah, they don't like the fact that they're slightly stronger than us. Wow, no, sorry. That we aren't that much stronger than them, should I say. Although, I can actually build some more troops, which I think I might do. How many have I got? I've got two cavalry... So I probably want just infantry at this point, I think. So we'll go to our force limit. What uh, mission do we have? We have no missions and can get no missions. So that's a bit useless. I don't think I want all of these uh, pop-up windows about discoveries. They're a bit annoying, to be honest. Let's move all of these troops over to the Orkney Islands. Because that will bring down the uh, unrest even more. So it's, what is it at the moment? 1.4. And when that gets there, 1.1. Awesome. We have a space for an advisor. Missionary strength. So what actually do we need at the moment? We need... Um, probably... Admin most, just because we're quite behind on admin tech. Um, so we'll aim to get a admin advisor soon enough. But for the moment, I want to be making as much money as possible. Oh, merchant standing down. There we go. I'd rather not annoy France if possible. Um, right, I can invest in new technology. 
which I think we will do. Ooh, we can slander merchants afterwards. That's a new one. I assume maybe that just reduces trade power. I guess we'll find out. So what do we want to do? We could probably reduce our army maintenance now and make a bit more money because... Like, if this pro uh, rebel faction stuff starts going up quite significantly, um, then we'll, re we'll increase our maintenance. Um, but for the moment, 4.2 years is a fair amount of time before there's an uprising. Wow, why is the unrest just skyrocketed for a second? That was really weird. Once they're cored as well, their uh, unrest will go down. Convert Shetland to Catholic. What is Shetland at the moment? Protestant. So we have a decision to make, it seems. Hmm. I think maybe we... I mean, it's probably got... um. What's the modifier called? Religious zeal, yes. Yeah, so there's no chance we're going to actually convert it anytime soon. So there's no point in taking that mission. We probably best wait until another mission pops up. Um, what could we possibly do to get more? Because we need more admin points, which is from the clergy. Um, but as it stands... We can't afford... Hmm. So we could take... They'll lose 20 loyalty and then we can make them gain 15 by giving them money. So we'll do that and then... No! I pressed the wrong one! God damn it. Never mind. Um... Okay, there's one ending at the end, later this year. So, disaster averted. Huh. <sighs> Bloody stupid me. Right, so we're gonna quickly stop building up a... We can ignore that. Because this, uh, looming disaster is for the, uh, clergy. And that will, uh, drop pretty fast. Their influence, that is. Apparently, I can actually convert Shetlands. Wow. Convert Shetland Catholic. Convert Shetland. And what I'll also do, because we can afford it, is get a missionary strength. Admin guy. Um, so we really need to start colonizing again. So I think we're going to possibly... What military leaders do we have? Oh, uh, we have leader of our army and that's it. Okay. So what we could do is start colonizing a bit more up here. So where are we going to go? Let's send, let's have a look at the colonial regions. Okay. So this will all be Canada. So how much money are we make in 7.24? So we can safely afford to send off three of our colonists up here and establish our second uh, colonial nation. Wow. After these three are done, we'll need one more. But um, it shouldn't take too long before we can establish it. Subarctic Islands is a territory. Click here to make it a state. <sighs> Yeah, but it's making, like, no money, isn't it? I mean, but also, look at their autonomy. So it's just awful. Um, so that is going down... Hmm. I suppose I could make the Subarctic Islands a, um... A state. Because how many states can I actually have? I assume it's somewhere around here. Is it? Am I blind? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there we go. Uh, number of states. So we can have three states. 
Oh no, we have three states. But we can have 15 by the looks of it. Hmm. Ooh, good news. So yeah, we now no longer have the um, disaster with the clergy because their influence has expired. It'd be really nice to do that, but that's going to give them more influence. New World Charter we can't get until... Oh, okay, we've only literally just... We must have got that in the last episode. So we're going to continue going up with our military technology. So now we have a choice between... Uh, Tercio or Free Shooter Infantry. And I think I'm going to go for... Free Shooter, I think. Ooh, and now we can also upgrade our uh, production efficiency. And... We won't be long before we have our next idea group as well. Tax income boost has happened to us, apparently. Right, so we've got an extra diplomat. What are we going to do with this extra diplomat? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. I should improve relations with England. That's a good point. Rebel Uprising. Oh, okay. Norwegian Separatists have gone up. So what I'll do now is increase our army maintenance. Back up to max. And I probably should unmothball this fleet. Oh, uh, of course. I forgot I need to change our native policy. Because at the moment... Mm, actually, no, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to transport those other troops up to my colony. So I don't have to deal with uh, repeated... Um, naval, uh, naval? Native attacks. Okay, secrets in our alliance. I don't want to deal with any malices, so I'll just take the... Uh... Take the uh, loss of uh, Diplo power. Right, Shetland have been converted. Can we convert anywhere else? Colonize Nascapi. Nascapi. Which one's Nascapi? That one there. Turn Placentia into a city. So we're going to take that one and then we'll get con uh, colonized Nascapi. Fabulous. I'm thinking though, do we turn... I think we probably should just turn these into a... Uh, turn subarctic islands. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it'll cost us uh, 0 0.17 in maintenance. It'll increase our income by 0 0.35, but only once autonomy has been reduced to lower levels. So if we do that now, we're actually going to probably... It'll probably cost us quite a bit of money, I imagine, because like they've got such high autonomy that they're not making any money. So I don't think we need to do that quite yet. Maybe in future we will. Why do France now not like us? Oh, it's just because the merchant standing down is probably reducing slowly. Right. I'm going to move that army up there. Oh no, they can actually move there themselves. Go figure. So. Are they? Oh no, so they're going to take themselves up. Ah, okay, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. What else is there I can, uh, I could do? I suppose it's probably not really a lot. I mean, this, at this point, it's just sort of a case of snowballing more than anything. 
Oh, that's just stupid. So, my ships picked up my troops, brought them along the coast a little bit, dropped them off. Ooh, native assimilation. 100 more. And now they're going to go pick them up again here, I think. Unless they can get somehow get to this island. My god, it looks like they might actually be doing it. Right, uh, let's get rid of this. The growth of cities attracts serfs. So... Um, nobility gains loyalty or I don't want a 25% autonomy I'd rather do surf stay to be honest yeah okay so nation of France your faithful allies are requesting you come to their aid in the Burgundian conquest of Bourbon against Burgundy uh, their aid <clears throat> They're allied with the Papal State in Venice. Okay. So we'll have to see if there's, you know, anything we can actually do to help out in this war. Oh, they're brilliant. They're giving us subsidies as well. I have no idea why it was taking them so long to get across here. Right. Let's split up these guys and put 1k troops on each uh, colony. That'll uh, deal with that somewhat. What I'm thinking, though, is now what we need to try and do to help France. Because I'm not entirely sure... They're going to do so well out of this. They're England in this war. Okay, they are against Galway, Frisian, uh, Friesland, and Liège. Okay, so they're probably not going to do a lot, actually. Hmm. I think we should still help. So... Let's move all of our troops down to Kent. Actually, no, we can't. We sort of need to pay attention to these evil people trying to uh, revolt. How dare they? You can make states. Greater Antilles, Newfoundland, or Subarctic Arctic Islands. So uh, I can actually make a state out of these things up here, even though they are eventually going to turn into a colony. I wonder what happens if you spend the money to turn it into a if it turns into a colony after you've spent the admin points to make a state. Hmm. Intriguing. So it actually looks like a revolt. Okay. So we need to buy a new general. He's not particularly great, but he's better than nothing. Oh, God, no. Right. So this stack can go over there. Oh, God. They've taken the island. We might as well do this properly. Right, so I will give you... Let's do this properly. They didn't split how I wanted them to wanted them to split. So, separate, create new unit. We want both the cavalry and then those troops. There we go. We'll do it like this. And then move you and send you across there. See? How easy was that? And a resounding victory. Oh dear. That is less than ideal. <laughs> so we just lost our entire um, transport fleet. Which is a pain in the ass, if I'm honest. 
because it means I have to pay, obviously, to build it all over again. Uh, but what it also means is now our troops are stuck. Which is an even bigger pain in the ass. Okay, so... And it was also stack wiped as well, so we don't have a single one actually left. Who's actually in this battle? How many troops do each side have? So, France have a better leader, but looks like, yeah, Burgundy have a much superior actual force. Be nice if Bergen, if uh, England declared war on Burgundy. I mean, France are fortunately winning the land war, so uh, that's not so much of an issue at all. Let's improve relations with New Tyrone again. Make sure they're maxed out. And what I think I'll do is end the episode here. So in the next episode, um, I guess what's probably going to happen is we'll finish these colonies. And start some new ones. We have to do something to combat the plague. Um, yeah, we're going to... Hmm. Incorruptible. Didn't even know Norway were trying to uh, go after us. So, yeah. What? We have received a truly generous gift of 50 ducats from our friends in Bremen. Am I even... They're not even in this war. What? Br what? They don't even like us. What? They're allied with England, but... Maybe I should just improve relations with Bremen. Just to say sort of thank you. Okay. Well, I'll end the episode here. And in the next episode, we'll uh, finish some colonies, start some new ones, and hopefully get our troops back to the mainland. We'll start building some, uh, some new transports. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you next time. Take care.